right, here we go. <clears throat> Bigger battles. Uh, let's see. Uh, my arrow's not in here. Okay, but anyway. World War II, France, 40. You know, this might look familiar, this table. The Germans, starting at the four-foot line, so it's four, four foot by four foot table. Germans, got to try to take out the French here. Um, uh, the French out of this little uh, crossroads here. I did use the Bigger Battles Builder, PDF Builder, so I built my own stuff here. Um, so I didn't have to type it all in. I got a couple uh, ideas or thoughts I'll share with uh, Jay on this, but this is great. Makes it so it's a lot, uh, lot easier, easier to do. Oh boy. Anyway, I didn't do anything crazy. Basically, the German squads are cool headed, the French squads are brittle, um, which basically the Germans get plus one to wound rolls when they shoot them. I was trying to think of some way to make them a little bit more likely to flee. Cool thing about bigger battles or any fistful of lead games, you can make up your own. So I could have made up my own trait, and maybe I'll do that, but I was just trying to get this cranked out. Leclerc is the commander for the French. He's nerves of steel, steady, and veteran. Herr German dude is the leader there. Fearless, quick, and tough as nails. I um, I'm going to use something. If he is the commander, is with quick. If he is attached to a uh, squad, he's going to be able to give that uh, you know additional move to them since he's helping them move. So. Um, German squads are cool-headed. Uh, they both have squad support weapons, like you know, like machine guns. Uh, the Germans have an HMG and a mortar. The HMG is dead eye. Oh, the mortar! I forget. Oh wait, that's so funny. On both mortars, they don't show. Uh, the French mortar should have uh, loads of ammo, which isn't a trait on here. So I need to type that in, write that in there. And the uh, German, I forgot to give a trait. The mortar. So I'll come up with something. And then the, I gave the Germans a flamethrower. He's on the French card because I forgot to make one while I was printing out the Germans. And then an infantry gun um, for the Germans. I'm not going to cut these out. I'll just keep them on these sheets. But anyway, this is a nice thing to do. Um, he's got them where you can just fill them out yourself. There's also templates where you can put pictures of your guys and all that, which is also cool. But I'm good with this. So, all right. Uh, that's it. Let's get to, get to battle. And everyone's on the board. Nothing like that. Got my mortars and uh, machine gun here, mortar and infantry gun. My two machine guns here, I'm going to put them on the edge of the woods. Um, leader here, and then I just put the three squads. Sure, punk. Squad, squad in the building. Leader, squad, and machine guns up there. Uh, the mortar is somewhere. The mortar's up against that brick wall. Um, and that's that. So I'm going to get going here. Got... Uh, Got McMurray on the line here helping me out uh, just uh, on Facebook Messenger so he can help me remember the rules. Oh, oh, and I got a flamethrower, which is a template. I want to get him up there. Ah, got to get him up there. All right, we'll see you. All right, well, this is the, I'm not going to do this every turn, but this is the French first hand. 965322. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, but this makes sense. The Germans got a king, two queens, a jack, a 655. In a wild, so I'll use that as a... Well, I'm going to see what the other special traits are, but I'll use them up high. But it makes sense. Throw in the attack. And uh, as they say, uh, here we go. All right. Uh, into turn one. Uh, for a Ger a German took a shock. They basically moved up. The uh, <laughs> low ammoed on the uh, mortar and totally missed on the infantry gun. And so they have to reload both. Um, I'm going to use them as an action. That's how I'm going to play it this time. Um uh, my machine gun unit, unfortunately, one was able to get here to the edge of the woods. The French Hotchkiss saw it, took them out, had a two so they could re-roll any misses, which they missed all four of their first dice, so they re-rolled them all and got two hits, and then I rolled a uh, a ten. So they got took two wounds, which means knocked them out. So, wah, wah. That's a bummer, though. Um, also showing indirect fire weapons could be a little tougher because you have to roll, like right now they're having to roll an eight to hit. It's pretty tough. So what I really need to do is put the twos on them, too, if I get them. So let's uh, do out the next one and go to turn two. All right, end of turn two. Uh, Germ Germans moved up. The uh, two shock on these guys by this troop in the woods. Um, these guns got fired. Infantry gun missed. My machine gun is just getting by blasted. My little machine gun unit. They're down to one guy and a shock on them. The Chachkas, well, actually, this guy here. These squad here, only four guys fired. They took out one of those guys and added that shock. The 
the Hotchkiss. Um, I think that's what happened. Oh, well, I don't remember. Anyway, so he's got a shock in one guy. So he's he's getting down there to nothing. And then the Germans finally did some. <clears throat> Their fire when they moved was ineffective. The mortar did take out four guys because I rolled on the wound roll. I rolled a nine, a 10, and an eight. And they get a plus one because they're br brittle. Um, that was pretty pretty good hit for the Germans. But it's going to be tough for the Germans to do this job, I think. Um, I thought the machine guns and stuff would help them, but this is uh, hurting them. The French mortar has missed. So we'll see. A turn three next. Okay, into turn four. I forgot to come back on turn three. Um, all right, so my flamethrower, the Germans, flamethrower. Got up here, shot, missed, terrible, boo, whatever. Okay. Um, the um, German machine guns are out. I realized I made an error with them. Their crew should have been more, so they probably should still be there. I could put them both back there because they both got out too. I don't know. I'll discuss with McMurray, but I might bring those guys back. We'll see. Um, infantry gun came up, they moved, and now they got to spend a turn getting ready, and they already took a shock when the Hotchkiss went on ready and fired on them when they poked their little nose out of the woods. Um, did another little damage here to this guy, so he's down, he's got two shock and four guys. I need to get those guys within an inch of each other now. So I was doing mortars incorrectly, all the shocks off these guys, so that's good. I was doing mortars incorrectly, indirect fire in incorrectly. One. The infantry gun should not have been firing in direct. So I fixed that. They're moving up. Two, the mortars fire. If they hit, they roll a D10. Whichever way it points, it rolls that number of inches you rolled away. So in this case, I hit with a 10, but then I rolled to roll nine inches back to jack squat. The Germans, so the French used their mortar, missed. So you roll that die and you double that number. So it's 14 inches back to here. So if I, that die would have just turned a little bit. They would have rolled back and shot their own guys. <sighs> Anywho, I, again, this is, uh, I'm struggling as the Germans here. I guess I need to, seriously, I really needed to double the number of units they had, I think. Um, and probably should have brought on some light. I just was trying to avoid tanks. So anyway, that's that. That's turn four. Still fun. Having a good time uh, rolling dice here. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a tough one for the attackers. We'll see it. Okay. Into turn five. Um, flamethrower, man. Just cannot make anything happen, but that's cool. Oh, shoot, I didn't check if they rolled low on ammo. I don't think they did. I didn't think they rolled any ones, but ammo, I got to see what the rule is on that. Anyway, but they didn't roll any ones, but however, with some firing from some guys, uh, this unit did break and they're running away now. There's one shock on one guy. Uh, otherwise, the French are holding strong. This Gun is now, oh shoot, they're down to one guy and two shocks, so he actually needs to run away. So he'll pull back 10 inches and have one left. Yeah, I got to work on that infantry gun. That thing has been a useless in the machine gun. So the machine gun should have bigger crews for one. Uh, anywho, I don't know. I mean, these guys are coming up now. The problem is these woods are going to be two and a half movement. But if I can get my flamethrower up here and maybe shoot the side of that building. Um, I'd let these guys fire out of that window. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're still working on it. I just turned six now. I don't have a turn limit. I don't know. I just thought one of them would break or we'll stop. McMurray's on his way over to do some airship battles, so we may end it before that, but... I'm still enjoying it. There's some things that he and I are thinking about, about changing, um, not changing, but just kind of making a World War II editions uh, codex for, as it were, I hate saying codex, but codex, um, World War II. He had a good name for it. Anyway, so that's that. Here we go. Turns. Okay. Wow. That, that was a rough turn for the Germans. Um, uh, four shock on these guys from the Hotchkiss and that stand, that group, they just had to come on out. Um, the infantry gun got over here. Still got to set up this turn. They finally got a shock on these guys. Oh, got to move that card. Um, I did forget to use a queen of spades, I think it is, to remove all shock from a unit on the German side. Got to pay attention to these things. This guy that was regrouping rallied. Move five inch, five inches. Oh, wait, but I got to before I tell you that. The G French mortar hit and rolled their scatter die, and it landed here right on top of the... 
right on top of the um, commander, giving him just two shock. That's all that happened. And then this guy moved within five shot and killed both those guys, rolled a nine, wounded both guys, and they were out. So they've lost their command unit. I feel like they lost another unit, too. The flamethrower is moving up here. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. No, I guess the commander's the only unit out. Oh, my goodness, man. The Germans are just, like, barely hanging on here. <laughs> I just don't know how they're going to be able to get these guys. Now they got those guys in the open. That infantry gun could stink and set up and fire, but you got to spend the whole turn setting up. Oh, man, that Hotchkiss has been nothing but a bear. All right. Um, all right. So that's that. Turn. We're moving on to turn seven. Oh, yeah. French lost their commander with this guy firing on him. I think, I feel like I'm doing some, oh, I have started trying, oh, so, since I'm just trying to try out some new World War II rules, I did change some. Uh, I mean, this affects everybody. If it's going to be an a 11 or higher to hit, you know, and if you're rolling a D10, so if it's, if it's ever over your amount, well, here's what's funny. I was going to say, roll a 10. If you roll it, roll again. If you get a five or higher, you get it. That, so that takes your chances of hitting down to 5%. So normally if it's a 10, it's a 10% chance. I figured, well, you might if you take it just to half, it's going to be a now 5% chance to hit at that range. You could do a 10 and a 10, making it a 1% chance to hit. I don't know. Something to play around with. However, in this case, I did roll a 10 and a 10. So he rolled his two damage and got rid of him. So rolled a nine for wounds. All right. Back to turn seven. Uh, just catching in the middle, at the beginning of turn seven, the flamethrower used his one-eyed jack, so it was a plus one to hit. Flamethrower finally struck the building, took out four people, got two shock on them, and then the mortar was just like, what the bleep? And the house catching fire. Ooh, that'd be cool. And then um, they added some shock because they saw their brothers just get obliterated in that building. So pretty crazy. I mean, so here's an interesting thing. You could, it'd be fun to add maybe a, Killing the building. Let's see if the building catches fire. I don't know. What do you want to say? Just roll it. Is it rolled to just a regular hit, like an eight plus? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's just roll and see if the building catches fire. Just for fun. Oh, it would catch fire. So then you could say it's on fire. And those guys have to get out their next move. And if not, they start taking damage. Now I'm just I'm just making stuff up as I go here, just to test out stuff. All right, we'll see you. Oh, blurry. Bye. All right, turn seven. Uh, oh boy, let's see. Uh, the guys got out of the building. Um, the mortar fired and did nothing. This Hotchkiss, man, this freaking Hotchkiss. They got rid of their three shock and they just got him back. No one died, they got him back. And this guy, man, he has been the hero. He knocked out four or two, maybe four, but this this uh, platoon or this squad is down to three guys. Um, infantry gun fired and like they did nothing close assault here worked so they got there to those guys this building's cleared so really these germans they can rush forward i mean i'm pretty much gonna i'll play through 10 turns we'll call it that we'll call it good um by rushing out here though that probably was dumb because i didn't i thought for sure i could finish off the germans getting some shots because his infantry gun was doing nothing the whole game so that was might have been a mistake so they kind of rushed over here these guys just got out of the building with their shock moved seven inches like ah flip Flippity flap. So these guys are kind of stuck in the woods here. So they're going to take, just move like five inches. This flamethrower is going to work his way around there probably. Anywho. So uh, two turns, eight, nine, ten. So three turns left. Okay, into turn seven. The greatest thing that happened on this turn was, actually I don't think there was much killing here. There was just a bunch of shooting and missing. Those guys rallied two of their shock off from the fire. The mortar rallied one and then is dismantling. Now he can move. I think it's time to get away. Unfortunately, this flamethrower is right here on the side of the building going, ha ha, gotcha. So he's hoping he can get that. The greatest thing was this group here who had five. They got five. Um, no, they got six from that darn Hotchkiss. Got six more shock. So they ran back here. And then when it was their turn, I rolled and I got five because they got a plus one to rally. So I got five fours or higher. So they all came off and they were able to move. That was pretty awesome. I mean, that that was great. <laughs> I did not expect that. All right, moving on to turn eight. Okay, so uh, 
into turn eight. We're going to call the game because suddenly above the uh, battlefield show Victorian airships. Totally, you know, more time travel. Boy, it looks really good, that smoke in the sun. Anyway, okay, uh, so turn eight, we're going to call it just because uh, the Mac is here. Boop. We're going to do a little Victorian airship. Uh, big battles, bigger battles again. Just testing some rules for a convention. We'll get back to that. So anyway, uh, these guys moved around, shot. They just, then they turned around and got shot by the Frenchies, took three. Um, yeah, so uh, McMurray showed up and reminded me that I was doing a few things incorrectly. It's okay. I instructed you to do a few things incorrectly so, yesterday. They get one action per turn. They can maneuver and fire. And then if they sit still, they can concentrate fire. So, in, in, anywho. In Todd's defense, he was doing that yesterday. And then I was like, oh, just shoot shoot twice. The rule, so then the, what we, the lesson learned is. Don't listen to your friends who are trying to help you play the game. Just kidding. Accurate. No, that's a very no, good no. question. So anyway, and reloading <laughs> takes a whole turn. So we'll have to kind of think through some of that stuff. So support weapons are tough because you got to, if you move them, and you got to spend a turn putting them together, and then you could fire, and then you got to wait a turn. I mean, you might get to shoot at the gun four times in a game. Yeah, limbering and limbering is a thing. And all crude weapons are supposed to be like that. So the mortar, the heavy machine gun... So that's why you want to. This Hotchkiss would probably be the MVP for the Frenchies. I would say it's a draw. The the Germans took this, took this uh, town, took this building by burning it, and uh, but I don't know. Probably still have it anymore. It counts. So, well, I'd say the actually I'd say the French one because they still hold the crossroads. They, the Germans can't come use this road willy nilly. All right, that's that. Is there any Germans alive other than? Oh yeah, we got uh, we oh, got okay. a mortar, infantry gun. That's what. Oh, this uh, this squad finally, the first infantry squad finally did get wiped out by the Hotchkiss. Um. So kind of French Germans on this side of the table, so they own this much of the table. So anyway, it's a draw. We'll call it that. Fun game. Now that I've uh, reacquainted myself, now we're gonna play bigger battles with airships. That'll be a totally separate video. We'll see you later. Bye.